Okay, good morning everyone. And um, to get things started, if you don't know me, my name's Harold Bennett and I'm Principal Race Officer for this event. I'm on the shore and I have to make sure that I take care of all the other things. I think it's about to die. Yeah, it's looking real soft. Um, everything I've seen on the forecast, i got the big wind up oh. and there's nothing there. So um, I'm Sam Barnett, um, one of the Murray's Bay coaches here. Um, Murray's Bay's got a really strong squad for the Opti Nationals at home this year. We've got uh, 26 sailors. Um, quite a few of them have got a good chance of doing well this year at the Opti Nationals and getting selected for teams. And the whole squad has been working really hard to um, get a good performance in at home. Our squad's pretty uh, familiar with the conditions. Um, we've had this the last week or so, these um, soft easterly gradients that have been dropping out, but I'm um, hoping for a bit better wind tomorrow. I love sailing up these because there's lots of competition and good sailors. Good luck. Hey, let's see it. Good luck. Yeah. Middle of drifting well back. Just front. Right now. Now. First stop. First stop. First punch. I'm absolutely amazed that we're getting a fleet like this away on the um, P flag. Um, this morning we had heaps of tide holding them back. Uh, but now we haven't and they're still holding back. The first start was right on, that start was well back. Hi, I'm Valentine Cruz, Softy Nats. Um, I had a good first day today, it's been light and shifty. Um, I had a gun off the start, just kept it simple, and the first race won there, and then coming into the second race, I just kept it simple again, and so, yeah, it's been good, light and shifty, tough racing. Yeah, looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully it's more wind today. Yeah. It's pretty light. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully there's no black flags, because I yeah. really hate black flags. You'd better win. No, I'll try, I'll try. <laughs> well, I'm with Georgely Rush today. So is it good to be in New Zealand doing the New Zealand Nationals? Yeah, it's yeah, great. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. And do you guys want to win the New Zealand Nationals? Yeah. 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 Do you like to beat the Kiwis? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> who's, uh, who's your biggest competition in the Kiwi fleet? Probably, Probably George, George Lee Rush. Rush. Yeah. yeah. So should we go find George Lee Rush and wish him good luck today? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. I found him. Yeah, good luck. You want Daniel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's your plan on the water today, George? When? <laughs> nah, just keep consistent until we get into finals and then I can just work my way through the fleet from there. No, no really bad ones, like an OCS or something would be nice, so just low scores and that's all I'm looking for. Yeah, I haven't uh, raced against Daniel since I think Worlds it was, so it'd be good to see where I'm sitting against Aussie's best. It's a pretty stacked fleet as well, we've got a lot of the top Kiwis and Aussies, so it'd be interesting to see who performs. Alright, good luck guys. Thank yeah, you. thanks. Wow, well, forecast for today. Plug in to uh, predict win. <laughs> what do we got? So, not a lot happening early on. Start time, supposedly 11 o'clock, they're hoping for four races. Currently seeing uh, sort of northerly, maybe eight to 10 knots, which would be nice. Sun's out, so that'll keep the coaches happy. And uh, yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a bit of a day where you need to start well and just go fast around the racetrack. Easy as that. Make sure your, uh, your boat's well within the rules so you don't get nailed with the measurement penalty at the end and if you're not over the start line when the gun goes, you'll probably get a race win. You don't want to peak early. Look around the boat park, there's always uh, often a lot of fever, you know. 
Maybe going over the boats, 10 past 9, still an hour away from launching. You want to control the peak because uh, you can't maintain the peak for long periods of time. So, for example, you wouldn't want to be over the start line early, that'd be peaking early. Make sure you're behind the start line on the gun and then slowly build your peak up from there. Happy days. You wouldn't want to be over the start line early, that'd be peaking early. Make sure you're behind the start line on the gun. You wouldn't want to be over the start line early, that'd be peaking early. Second day of racing, we did three races. Um, it started off pretty light at the, in the morning and built up to a nice like 10 to 15 knots um, in a nice sea breeze. It was a bit of a frontal. Um, the Aussies were doing pretty good and it was some tough, tough racing. Yeah, but it was a good day and we've got, I'm pretty sure we've got our first finals day, um, finals day tomorrow. And so yeah, and we'll see you all again tomorrow. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> of the Optus Nationals and we're here with everyone just chilling out waiting for the D flag and now we're gonna go interview some people. I'm Greta Pilkington and I'm here with Amelia Angus who is the top ranked girl going into the finals day of the Optimus Nationals. So what is your strategy for today Amelia? Um, I'm just gonna keep it quite chill and I don't know I'm just gonna go out there with a clear head and try my best I guess because I'm obviously up with all the top sailors of New Zealand and it's going to be really tough but I'll just give it my best shot and see how it goes, yeah. So as you know there's very limited girls in the sport of sailing so how do you feel about racing against the guys? Um, I, it feels really good actually because I really like it when I beat the guys and it's a really good feeling and I feel like Lots of girls get intimidated by the guys, but I feel like the guys are intimidated of me. <laughs> <laughs> 
that's, that sounds amazing. Wait, girls have to work really hard in the sport of sailing against all the guys. But it's, um, it's great for the sport and for any girls out there who want to get into sailing. It's a really good sport and it's really fun and competitive. Yeah. So we're here with George Lee Rush who had an absolute blinder of a start in the first of the Gold Fleet Finals. George, uh, we saw you do a couple of circles after that. Do you want to just give us a rundown what happened? Uh, I, was, I was at the pin set up, most pin boat, and when the gun came, I tacked off and someone said to dip me. So, did my turn, ended up having to do another 720. Uh, I was literally last place and then made it back up to six. So, pretty happy with the result. It wasn't exactly what I was hoping for, but given the circumstances, I'm pretty happy with how it played out. So as the uh, the current national champion and the title holder, do you feel a little bit more pressure to perform this year? Uh, no, I don't. I kind of stopped feeling too much pressure. Or I guess I guess I still feel pressure, but I, it just doesn't get to me anymore. Uh, I just my dad and I like to say I eat the pressure for breakfast. Yeah, I just honestly don't care about the pressure. I don't feel any more pressure than I did last year. And I mean, I've already won the Nationals. If I, if I don't win it again, so be it. Eat the pressure for breakfast. That is the advice of the, uh, the, the 2018 Optimus National Champion, George Lee Rush. George, I admire you. Thank you very much. <laughs> and mate, you are definitely gonna be one to watch. I reckon uh, Team New Zealand needs your email and your phone yeah. number, don't they? That's what I like to hear. <laughs> hey Daniel, we meet again. Yeah, hey. Hey, how you going? So Daniel just got a race win in the first of the finals race. How was that one for you? Yeah, it was good. I was coming second on the top mark, which is good, but I kind of wanted to get the first. I finally got it. So who was leading when you uh, decided that you had to take a run for first place? Uh, Joe Lee. I'm staying with him. Yeah. So you just beat your flatmate? Yeah. So what, what do you reckon you did differently in that race uh, to boost yourself ahead of the final uh, leg? I just kept taking like little tacks out to the left. This is really favoured out there and it worked well. And what would be your advice to those that are sort of, you know, midway to the back of the gold fleet? What would you say to them coming into the next race? I just get good starts and you can like control the race. Control the race or control the control peak? Control the peak. <laughs> Alright buddy, hey good, uh, well done for that one. Uh, Good to see you uh, out in front, but uh, you know, be a little bit nice to the Kiwis. Yeah, yeah, I will. <laughs> All right, have a good one. Thank you. Um, so today there was a northwesterly breeze, um, and there was a nice wind of like five to ten knots in the first race. It was really shifty, and it was really important that you had a good start. And I was winning around the top mark, and then I just kept leading around but then on the last beat I couldn't manage to secure first and I came second to Daniel Lynx. It was a really good day and it's very cold and miserable right now and we hope to see you all tomorrow at the 2019 Toyota Optimus National. That's what's going next. So we've been on shore for a while now, Harold. What's going on out there? Very little. Um, we've, you know, they keep getting bits of breeze, but it's only like the three knots, four knots. It'll, it'll pump up a wee bit, but then it disappears again. So we're going to delay this for another hour and um, until make another call in an hour's time. So we'll um, stay with that and see if we get anything that we can work with. We were AP'd for one hour and then we were AP'd for two hours and now we're AP'd for three hours. There's not a lot happening on the water right now so we'll have to wait an extra hour to see what we're going to do today.
I really want to go out sailing because it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Hi, my name's Levi. And I'm Sean. And um, today we're going to be showing you guys how to go fast. We're both from Koa Yacht Club. Yeah. So, first off, your main sheet tension. In the lighter winds, you want it to be eased off a little bit, about there. And then as the wind picks up, you slowly squeeze it on a bit, which is fast. And another great tip is you want to, so when you're coming around the bomb mark, you want to look for the um, more fluffy seagulls on the certain angles. And because and the fluffy seagulls, they need, they need, more, they meet, need more wind to um, fly. So you want to go towards them because they, they, they carry the wind. Also, with my haircut, I've got it specially designed for speed off the start line. So when you come off the start line, if you have a certain angle, you get this lift off this fluffy part at the back. And when you have that lift, you're pointing like 0 0.178 degrees higher than like George C. Rush and Daniel Links and stuff like that. So it's pretty fast. Because on the downward, it also helps because you can like fluff it out a bit to get that little bit of extra sail area and you'll just go a little bit faster. We hope all these tips have helped you guys. And Make sure that you go fast out yeah, there. Go fast. Go fast. Send it. After three hours, the AP finally went down and they said we could launch. But once we got out, there wasn't really much of a breeze, so they decided to wait for a bit longer. And then a breeze started to fill, but it didn't really stay for long and the wet breeze just died so we all had to head back into shore. A bit boring but with nothing much happening but that's the sport of sailing. So tell me what's the plan for tomorrow then if you've got no racing in today? plan is to try and do my best and try and get lots of races in. Yes so are they starting early? Yeah, uh, they, no they have to start on, yes they're <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are starting early and they want to try and get four races in. All the action is happening in the Bronze Fleet? <laughs> um, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, good luck Leo. Thanks. <laughs> Boats on the right look good. Um, that was a really good race. Yeah, I ended up fourth at the end. I was coming third around the top mark, but I lost, lost it to Lucas Day on the reach. But I held my position 
at the plate and I was a quite long distance away from the race so it was a pretty good race. Thank you! Bye! I was just mentally had to stay in it and I seven points is pretty quite a lot but I just knew last year it was even more on the last day and we only had two races and I still managed to do that so I just kept at it and I thought even though it's the last race I'm not just going to go for it, I'm just going to keep things simple and do what I have been every other race. Everyone who's helped out this regatta, the race committee, the judges and all the volunteers, like I know in my Easter break I would be thinking twice whether I'm going to come out and help some of the little kids regatta. So, I just, yeah, they've done so much work and we wouldn't have had this without them. Uh, my coaches, Tim, Adair, Logan Dunning Beck and Andrew Brown, they've just carried me here. <laughs> they've just taught me, pushed me and just helped me out so much to get hit where I am today. And then mum and dad, obviously, they've, uh, I, I've said this a ton of times, but I don't know where I would be without them, but I know that 100% I would not be here. Um, and we all just take our parents for granted and we just need to, we just need to thank them every now and then so that they know that we do care and so that they have an incentive to keep doing what they're doing. Yeah, thank you. My name is Nelson Meacham and I won the 2019 Nationals for Green Fleet. And I'd just like to thank my parents and all the competitors and the volunteers that helped put this event together. Thank you.